As we were eating breakfast this morning, we were doing a lot of research on whether or not, or how to install a trailer hitch on our car. And it kind of came to me as I was looking through installs on regular cars, why there's no trailer hitch install on an SRT8. Maybe because the car already has a trailer hitch, it's just hidden and we can't see it. So I'm really hoping that hypothesis is true. I need some shoes. The Daily Daniels will be a good choice for today. I really don't want to get my hopes up, but this would be an amazing deal because the car has a, a tow mode already. Is it unlocked? It's not unlocked. The car has a tow mode already. So it would be really awesome if this thing somehow... Okay, there's like a huge giant frickin' thing back here. Um, let me see it. Nope. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Looks like we gotta install a trailer hitch today, boys. I don't know how well you guys can kind of see it in here, but it looks like there's actually a, so there's already a pre-existing wiring harness that I can just kind of take out there. It's in a little cover or something like that. Yeah, you guys can kind of see it right now. There's a little wiring harness in there, so it looks like it's gonna be pre-wired and ready to, to install one, but it, uh, yeah, and look how much, look how much, actually, look how much space is in here. There's so much space in there. Okay, well, I don't know. I've never installed a tow hook, or a, not even a tow hook. I've never installed a trailer hitch before, so this might be kind of interesting. We have to install a trailer hitch because your boy, your father, is finally going to pick up the Lexus tomorrow. I don't know if it's actually going to be ready, but we're going to go up there, we're going to finish it, and we're going to trailer it back. So that's why we're installing a trailer hitch, but let's have some fun. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. This car's so quiet it hurts. The only thing, the only thing that kind of concerns me, actually it doesn't really concern me, but it's something to note. This car has a 5,000 pound towing capacity and with a trailer and my SC, I think we're gonna be pushing a little more than that. Really? Yeah, but they say that for liability reasons so that you don't tow 10,000 pounds and then blame them when your transmission poops out on you, so. If TJ can tow a freaking 350Z with a little Nissan dinky little Frontier, then I think we're gonna be okay. But behind this white van is probably the cleanest Lamborghini Gallardo I've ever seen. I really wanna try and pass it and show you guys. Jim in the white van here is freaking, oh my gosh, come on Jim, come on Jim. Got it, I got it, I got you boys. I got you boys. Look how clean this thing is. It's probably the nicest that is the nicest Gallardo I've ever seen. I'm not even that big of a fan of Gallardos, but that's kind of refreshing. Oh, nice. This is the scariest part about owning an SRT8. Oh my god, no. Kill me. Kill me, dude. Please stop. Please stop. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> so we are at U-Haul right now. We're going to see what... Um, Kind of trailer hitches and or we're gonna see what hitches they have. Actually, these these car trailers look really nice. Um, I'm, we're thinking. I don't know what kind of trailer because my SC has a welded diff. I'm not. I'm not wanting to get a single axle trailer for it. I'd really like to get a full car hauler. Car hauler. But I'm gonna go around these speed bumps because I'm used to driving a race car. I'd like to be able to rent my daddy's trailer, but a rent rent. I like to. Take my dad's trailer. Where's the customer parking? Oh, that's me. I'm a customer parker. Oh, speaking speaking of parkers, the new Spider-Man was great. If you guys haven't seen that, that's I love <laughs> I love Spider-Man movies, dude. The year did you get these? Uh, so 2012. Yeah. Grand Cherokee SRT8. So he was saying, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Jeep around for him to look at. He was saying that you actually for for the SRTs or I guess in Dodges in general, the harness that comes with it, Dodge actually needs to reprogram that. I don't know, he could be telling me the wrong thing. I don't know, he's gonna look at it right now. But we'll see. That'd be nice to have to not have to take a, a trip to Dodge today, but it looks like um, the, at least the trailer hitch was a lot less expensive than we thought it was gonna be. Oh, look at this JDM Pontiac over here with the, the drift no bumper action. That's pretty go. sick, dude. I'm, t I'm going right here. He's gonna pull out. I'm, Mr. Mans is gonna um, check out the. Uh, we're just gonna do a nice parking job right here. We're just gonna <laughs> park sideways. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna take up as much space as we want to because that's just how we roll. <laughs> Oops. 
to the way. So really awesome news. They This U-Haul does not have the trailer that I need to tow the SC300. The only thing they recommended for me are they were like, oh, we have the single axle trailer that can prop up the front two wheels. And I don't think trailering a welded, a, a welded diff car on a single axle trailer is the best idea in the world. So I'm gonna see about maybe borrowing a friend's or seeing if I could maybe borrow my dad's trailer for the weekend. Um, but that is that is pretty brutal. But if we can borrow my dad's, that'd save us a lot of time and money because we don't have to buy straps. So I'm gonna give my dad a call and see what's up. And uh, either way, after we get this trailer hitch installed today, we are going to take his trailer and kind of do a little bit of practice run so I can get used to towing a trailer behind this old Bessie. Operation um, Get the Lexus has been almost done in full effect. We have moved the Miata over to the public parking spot, which is literally right around the corner. I gotta make sure that it's in the ultimate no ding zone though, because I just don't want door dings. Look, at, it's so sad. It's so sad, it's just right here. One thing that I did not realize, and it's pretty bad, um, I don't know, I, I, maybe it's from trailering it, I don't know, but I, this is, has not been like this for very long. So the glass top on the Miata is no bueno right now. So I'm gonna need to get some like serious duct tape and maybe fix that a little later, but that is not good, especially if it decides to rain or something like that. Maybe I'm gonna have to uh, bring the Miata inside. I don't know, but I don't like that. So we're gonna go ahead, I guess we'll go ahead and walk. That really sucks, dude. If you guys are unaware, hard tops for these freaking cars are like a thousand bucks. So we'll see, we'll see. Look at this, okay, so I went to a meet last night. People draw. People drew profane things on there. I have, it said fat daddy, and then somebody put eat daddy, and then love me. You guys are, oh, and then some, some hearts. Thank you. Thank you for your kind drawings on my paint. All right, bros, we gotta get this going because we have a very limited amount of time still left today. We actually called Dodge. And they said, yes, whenever you install a trailer hitch for some stupid, I'm not wearing a hat, what am I doing? It's kind of ridiculous, you actually have to pay Dodge. It's like 125 bucks for them to, to calibrate the new harness to your, I don't know, it's whatever. So we gotta go to Dodge today, but they close at like four. So we gotta make sure that we get this done. I'm not wearing a watch, we gotta make sure we get this done really quickly, but it looks like it should be a really easy install. Uh, it looks like, so these little bolts right here, these are going to bolt into the pre-existing bolts uh, to the frame right around where my uh, my spare tire and wheel is. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we're just gonna have to basically undress the bottom of the car right here, Whoa, take it all out, and then uh, just shove it right in there. What are you undressing? Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey babe, hmm? if we're undressing the car, do we need to like turn on some romantic music? Get it in the mood. Should we buy it dinner first? Bad meme. <laughs> Bad meme. It's so funny. Bad meme. I'm so funny. Dude, those little T-clamps were on there so hard. I completely shredded this one off with my gains. Now we should be able to just take this little panel out of here. Pull it down a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. So I think that this, uh, it looks, man, this is gonna be tough to fit in here. It's gonna fit in just like this. Eh, eh. It's gonna hang down pretty low. It's gonna be weird whenever we bag it, but yeah. So what we gotta do, eh, eh. <laughs> oh, they just bolt right into that. I am dying right now. It is hot under here. And then this is the harness we're gonna have to use. That's what we have to get adapted at the uh, Dodge dealership. So that's that's really fun. It ended up being a 21 millimeter, and we don't have one with a quarter inch drive, which is what my impact is, and I don't have a converter for it, so that kind of sucks. But we're gonna have to go ahead and try this. Maybe with a breaker bar. We'll see if Captain Gaines can can undo it. But usually it's really really tough. Oh, actually. <sighs> what? That was not easy. <laughs> nice. You're so strong. 
Nice try. Okay. Woo! Actually wasn't too bad. That was <laughs> like so easy looking. Good. Panel that I'm so uncomfortably laying on, so I'm gonna have to take this off now. But speaking of taking off, dude, let's just take this exhaust off. No more exhaust. Just make it loud, babe. Sound like? It would sound actually probably not bad. It would just look kind of stupid. You wanna try? Uh, do I want to try? Mm, maybe not today. Maybe another time. <sighs> Getting claustrophobic in here. <laughs> this is not, oh, this is really inconvenient. Okay. Here's Farmer Brown's contraption of how the heck, of how to heck you freaking connect a trailer. That's a freaking Grom. Nothing? No. Nothing. Come on. No. This is actually, these, these little Calvin nuts are so tiny. They're so hard to work with. Calvin, why are your nuts so tiny? Where's this screwdriver? Okay. Alright guys, we'll check back in here in a couple more, a few hours. When we're finally done, screw in this one little screw down. After these two clips. Okay, I think that's it. Is it on? It's on. Alright guys, the, um, the ultimate dad mod is complete. Let's give it a good look. This looks like the ultimate dad wagon now with that trailer hitch. Nice. Now we need to, uh, what time is it right now? Do you have a watch on? We don't have a watch on. We need to go to Dodge and pay them a, a lot more money than I probably should to get them to calibrate this. Hey, honey, you ready to go? Dad gum, trailer Tom's ready to get it. Let's get this. Get this damn gun show on the road. <laughs> what? A little, uh, little FTG action? No, for the ladies. For the girls. For the ladies. FTL. <laughs> you just can't even model it right. Damn, Betsy, you can't even do nothing right. I'm just, I'm an old freaking grumps now. I'm gonna yell at everybody on the damn gum road. Uh, dang it, my sunglasses are in the trunk. That sucks. I need a twig. I don't you want a, a twig or a twizzler? A twizzle. Somebody give me a freaking twizzle. This is what happens when you're a dad and you got 500 horsepower. Woo! America. You're not a dad yet. I am now. I got a freaking trailer hauler. I can do whatever the heck, dang up heck I want. Here comes victim number one. I don't know where we got goats. This way. I'm, I'm a, I just got a tow hitch installed and I need you guys to, I guess, run your little diagnostic or whatever it is. Run through that. I know you guys have to calibrate or something like that because I got the new harness on it. Yep. Are you going to wait on it or how long is it going to take? Uh, <laughs> about an hour. All right. Let me tell you what, boys. It was supposed to take, yeah. it's supposed to take damn gum two to three days, but dad took care of it. It's going to take about an hour now, so I go. We're gonna get it done. No more about it. I should um, I should just switch it up on him. Put my normal hat on. Put my normal sunglasses on. Pull my pants back down. Stop pushing my stomach out. And um, see what the heck he does. There's some good dad hats over here. Get the Hemi. Get the, the Mopar. Oh, is a Hemi hat? Oh my God. That is it, boys. I don't even care. We had to buy a trailer hitch. Or not the hitch, we had to actually buy the uh, the, the freaking part that, that touches the other thing. I'm more excited about this than anything though. This is the ultimate dad hat. Dad gum. Dad gum it. That is nice. That is nice. That's brilliant. I like this. Let's, I can actually see, oh that's actually really dark. It's hard to see right now. So I'm gonna line this trailer hitch up. Nope, that's not right. All right, 
Bad gummit. Wait, no. There you go. Come on, Dan. Come on. Come on, damn it. Get on there. Get on there. Get on there. Hey. Very nice. I like that. All right, now we just need to tie it to here. We freaking did it. We freaking did it. Freaking A, did you see that? Dad gum, Beatrice. That was a freaking. We pull out that damn gum garage just, just like that. That was easy. I want to. Uh, I want to. I'm actually gonna pull it to my dad's house, and we're gonna grab this trailer in the morning from him. I'm actually gonna hit some brakes. It actually brakes really well with the trailer behind it. It's in tow mode right now. I don't exactly know what that does. Hopefully, this Hemi hat's gonna give me some good luck, and we'll figure out how to get this done. But this is my this is my first time ever hauling a trip. All right, here we go. Here we go, boys. Nice. Let's go. Probably my my tag. I'm never gonna take this tag off my hat. Oh, so you knew it was I, on there. Oh yeah, I knew oh, it was I've on there. Oh, I've been pointing at it. No, the whole I'm taking. Time. I'm taking. The, I'm keeping it on there. I know. I freaking know it's on there. Oh. I freaking know this this thing's on there. So I've been driving it around. It's the tra It's car actually pulls the trailer really nicely. Obviously, it doesn't have as much weight as it will. Uh, but it's really nice. The tow. I think what I figured out. I don't know exactly what all the tow. Is, uh, mode does but what I figured out is it actually it actually changes gears at a little bit higher rpm so it lets it rev out a little bit more um, right now I'm gonna go to kind of an this is kind of an abandoned ish place I'm gonna oh that's a good place for drifting oh that's I'm glad I found that I'm gonna practice my my reversals so the weird thing about having a trailer is whenever you're backing up say I want my trailer to go this way Normally you're like you turn the opposite way like to it's harder to explain But you actually turn the opposite way what you think you would do So like if I want my trailer to go back that way, I'm actually gonna turn left See watch this It's gonna go that way now and now because it's already on the right path I'm just gonna let it kind of do its own thing I'm gonna straighten it out so that it doesn't t-bone myself. I don't t-bone myself And then I feel like the tow mode should remove that sensor. That's probably a solid idea that Dodge didn't think about. But there you go. It's kind of it's kind of weird, but I actually think that a little bit of practice I'll get it taken care of. But the car is actually great. I was worried that the trans wouldn't. That's where he wants to drift. I'm gonna drift there someday, boys. I it, I don't know when they're gonna close, but um, <laughs> you, your father is gonna drift there with his SC. It's I think it's actually pretty good right now. I think the hat the hat. Is probably was what's helping out the most if I didn't have this hat if I if you know if I had a piece of wheat sticking out of my mouth maybe Even some better. like old maybe some some um, some big leaf Wait, chew will you, will you stop Hold on. what are you doing oh, I just got this whole thing Bessie, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> this is the best gift I ever got done did freaking got. Dad gum. There's some huge There's freaking some bit. This is disgusting tasting. Got a lot of fiber in it. Ma'am. Poop good. I'm gonna I'm gonna choke on this tomorrow, but dad gum, Bessie, you done did good today. <laughs> this is nice. This is real nice. One freaking thing we did notice was that uh, <laughs> The trailer hitch was a little low the trailer was kind of sagging as we were driving it so we actually switched it and turned it upside down which was way way more difficult than it should have been now the trailer should not be uh, sagging at all and that's gonna be really exciting so we will come back here in the morning we'll pick up this bad mamma Gemma and we will go pick up or at least work on the one Jay-Z one thing I don't want to over promise I don't want to promise the car is gonna be done because we actually don't know. Um, Ethan said that it was going to be on the lift today, but I actually can't be too entirely sure about that because one of his mechanics I was talking to earlier said that it didn't know, it was not on the lift this morning. So we're going to go up there. We're going to work on it one way or another. We're going to come back either tomorrow or the next day with the car. And if it's not finished, we're going to finish it here. And you guys will get some more videos with it because I miss that damn. It's been two months since we have seen that car. 
in person. Two months since I left that car. It's been way too long. Unnecessarily, unnecessary amount of time. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. We will be to we will be um, towing this bad boy up to Arkansas in the next vlog and visiting the one Jay-Z Lexus once again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just remember you're all awesome. Peace out. I've never said that before. That was really awkward, but it, it, whatever. You still are awesome. Peace out. Be victorious. <laughs> you're all awesome. Some good motivation, Victoria. For everybody out there, we all love each other. I'm ready. Let's tow this 1J back. Or er, Lexus. 1J Lexus back, not just the engine.